Hello everyone, I'm Akif and today we'll be discussing about 6LBR or 6 low pan border router. We'll be making two videos. One video will be regarding the theoretical concepts of 6LBR and in the second video we will be discussing about Kuja simulations. Um, in the past three decades we have uh, witnessed some technological waves. Uh, um, first, we witnessed uh, the computers, how computers became the part of our daily lives. Uh, we saw uh, operating systems like Windows 98, the graphical uh, user interface of uh, Windows XP. Everyone was fascinated by that. Uh, then we wit witnessed Internet. Uh, we started chatting and making friends across the planet uh, from the Yahoo Messenger or Yahoo Chat or whatever it was. Um, so in that way, <laughs> internet became a, s a source of a fascination for us. So that was a second technological wave. Now we are at the start of a third wave, which is called as Internet of Things. So uh, what is so interesting about Internet of Things? It is uh, the things itself. Uh, by the word things, we mean everything can be on internet it can be a carpet it can be a bottle it can be your own shirt so all these things will be the part of decision making so far we are familiar with the decision making uh, where humans are involved uh, where humans uh, become a part of the internet so we are uh, familiar with that kind of uh, decision making uh, but in the Internet of Things, uh, things will be involved in the decision making. Um, there will be a, a very less and minimum uh, human involvement. So when we have these two types of internets, on one side we have an internet where people are uh, involved, on other side we have an internet where things are involved. Uh, so how to c connect them? Uh, in that case, a border router became a bo uh, binding force. Uh, so, and border router was a better choice. Uh, one such kind of a border router uh, is six low band border router. So, how it connects uh, these two worlds together? Uh, uh, it's through a border router, and it plays a number of uh, roles, which we will be discussing shortly. Uh, on one side, you can look at the diagram. On one side, we have 802.15.4, which is actually uh, the other name for wireless personal area network. Uh, and this the, uh, the de devices present in uh, such kind of network are these low power and constrained devices like the sensors. On other side, we have Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or a network which is based on IPv6. So this network, it may be based on RPL border, uh, sorry, RPL, uh, which is a, a, route, a routing protocol for low power and lossy networks, which I have discussed in detail uh, in RPL video. You can refer to that. Uh, so this is how it connects these two worlds together. Now, as I told, six low pan border router plays some roles. It can sometimes act as a router and it can sometimes act as a bridge. So as a router, it logically separates these two kinds of networks. On one side, we have a mesh network, which is 802.15.4. On other side, we have Ethernet or Wi-Fi network. Now, you, uh, you can look at the prefix of the IPv6 address, the prefix. Th they have a different prefix. So in case of router, they don't have a common prefix, they have a different prefix. And each uh, is a separate subnet. Um, then as a bridge, it considers both the 802.15.4 network and the Ethernet network as a part of a single subnet. Um, now, let's be much more specific. We told that uh, it can act as a bridge or it can act as a router. Uh, uh, it can also play uh, various roles so as a bridge or as a router it can play roles and we can uh, put them into subcategories uh, but for now we'll be discussing only uh, 
three categories which is smart bridge transparent bridge and router so as a smart bridge what does it do we already discussed about the rpl network on the uh, 802.15.4 side and we also discussed about the uh, ethernet so side um, so how how does a bridge connect them we also told that uh, in the bridge they s uh, share the same prefix uh, they are a part of the same subnet so how do they connect what what are the various protocols and the processes involved uh, in uh, ipv6 we have a uh, very nice feature it's called uh, neighbor discovery um, uh, and this neighbor discovery uh, protocol uh, of IPv6 is different than the neighbor discovery of 6 low pan uh, so what happens actually is that uh, there are a few control messages that are sent back and forth when a new host wants to wants to be a part of the network uh, so what happens is that in IPv6 uh, neighbor discovery protocol, it uh, assumes that all the uh, nodes that want to be a part of this process, they are always open. Uh, but uh, the fact is that uh, these nodes sometimes go for sleep and wake up after weeks or after hours or after days or after minutes. So one has to take care of that. Uh, but IPv6 neighbor discovery um, it doesn't uh, consider that aspect of uh, the sleeping and waking cycles uh, so th there are these four control messages one is called the router solicitation it's always uh, sent by the host it actually wants to confirm the presence of router on the link so in response to that a router uh, uh, replies with a router advertisement so it's a response to the router solicitation uh, what it means is that I am on the network and uh, I am on the network and this message is sent uh, repeatedly then uh, neighbor solicitation it also originates from a host or any node actually it re it requests the link layer address of another node that is in its neighborhood and in response to that uh, node sends neighbor advertisement which uh, is a response to the neighbor solicitation and it also is sent when there is a change in its address uh, in six low pan uh, the neighbor discovery protocol takes care of the fact that nodes do go for sleeping um, and they can wake after hours uh, so they have incorporated some new kind of messages which is uh, neighb uh, uh, neighbor registration and neighbor confirmation so the RS router solicitation and router advertisement it's the same as that in the uh, IPv6 neighbor discovery uh, but we have new things like NR and NC which is uh, no node registration and node confirmation so uh, whenever any new device wants to be a part of this uh, mesh or network uh, it has to register itself so in response to that th they uh, respond back with node confirmation uh, so that is about uh, the neighbor discovery but what does uh, smart bridge do there has to be some sort of adaptation mechanism uh, that binds uh, these six low pan neighbor discovery with the neighbor discovery protocol of IPv6 so all the information that is collected from the RPL side through these RPL messages uh, th they are used for the ND proxy or neighbor discovery pro proxy and all the parameters that are received from the um, IPv6 side or the Ethernet side they are used to configure the RPL network or the 802.15.4 network so that was about uh, uh, smart bridge but uh, when it acts as a router what does it do I it behaves like a normal router we know uh, in a normal router uh, 
uh, it separates two different uh, uh, subnets logically and that's uh, what it exactly does uh, we have RPL based network on one side uh, and we have uh, uh, Ethernet network or the Wi-Fi network on the other side uh, they don't share the same IP address the prefix is different always so what happens is that they are configured in what sense they are configured so a traffic that is meant for the Ethernet site is forwarded via or passed via 6LBR. Uh, similarly, a traffic which is meant for uh, the wireless personal area network site, uh, it is uh, f forwarded via 6LBR. Then as a transparent bridge, it acts and behaves like a basic switch so what happens here all the incoming packets uh, which are actually destined towards the ethernet side but are uh, coming uh, to the uh, but are received on the uh, 802.15.4 interface are forwarded to the ethernet side similarly uh, when uh, uh, when packets which are actually destined towards the a wireless personal area network side but are received on the Ethernet interface they are forwarded uh, to the uh, RPL side so that was all about 6LBR and in the future video we'll be uh, doing some Kuja simulation thanks for watching and have a nice day